Lady Bird is the newest film from A24, and it comes to us from the multi-talented filmmaker Greta Gerwig. This is her solo directorial debut, and this film stars Saoirse Ronan as this young girl throughout her senior year. She's dating guys, trying to get into colleges, going to dances, and overall is just trying to get through high school so she can move on to, hopefully, bigger and better things. All the while, she doesn't feel like she's getting enough emotional support from her mother, and it shows her trying to manage all of these aspects of her life throughout her senior Senior year. Greta Gerberg has since stated that Lady Bird is a very personal story to her, having also grown up in Sacramento, California in the early 2000s, having also went to a Catholic school. But she's also expressed how even though this movie has been inspired by her life, it isn't necessarily an autobiography. And I think that that aspect of the film, the fact that this is more of a reimagining of a true story as opposed to just being a true story, like The Big Sick, which came out earlier this year, which I really enjoyed. Instead, this film is inspired inspired by real life events and it's told through this lens that can really only be applied through a female filmmaker. In 2014 there was a movie called Boyhood. It was nominated for six Oscars including Best Picture and I think where that movie shines is more of the behind the scenes achievements that it was able to have. The accomplishment of making a movie chronologically for 12 years is no doubt really impressive. In my opinion that film lacks a bit in its storytelling but where that film falls short is where Lady Bird shines. This is an excellent movie. Saoirse Ronan at 23 already nominated for two Oscars and what's even crazier is she is going to get another nomination for this movie. The character of Lady Bird is one of my favorite characters of this year. She has this name that she invents herself and it's a perfect name thematically. She wants to move out of the current living situation that she's in. She wants to leave the nest if you will. She has these big dreams of moving to New York and she feels like she's being held back because of the small town. And with me currently living in a small town wanting to move to Los Angeles in the future, this is something that I definitely related to. And that is one of the best things I can say about Lady Bird is this is a really true look at things like high school and family. This is a very relatable movie. The way she is moving throughout her senior year, trying to decipher the best way to celebrate this year. Should she go back with the popular kid? Should she stay with her best friend? It's something that really weighs heavy on her mind and I feel like weighs heavy on a lot of high schoolers' minds. One of the biggest themes in this movie is the relationship that a daughter has with her mother, which is again something that really only a female filmmaker can properly shed light on. Marion McPherson portrays Lady Bird's mother, and the scenes that they have together where they are bickering at each other, but then immediately showing love towards each other, there are some of the best emotional scenes in the movie. Enough so that when I was leaving this film, I noticed multiple women visibly crying, not just like a few tears, but sobbing after this movie because this film had such an emotional impact on them, which is completely understandable. The end of this movie is something really powerful, and I think that any mother that has had to say goodbye to their daughter as they go to college should see this movie. Lady Bird is truly one of my favorite movies of the year. It's charming, it's funny, and it really rises above the trite territory of being a coming-of-age movie. So did you guys see Lady Bird? What did you think about it? Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you liked today's video, and if you did, click on the down below. Subscribe to my channel to see more movies and more related things. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.